In this video, you are going to learn how to find the area of a circle. So if you look at your reference sheet, area of a circle is pretty far down the line, right? But at the top of your paper, I would like you to write A equals pi r squared. And r stands for the radius. All right? I would make a note of that as well. So I would like you to turn your worksheet over and I would like you to draw a circle. And I would like you to draw everything that I'm going to talk about in this circle. So we have a circle. The entire length of the circle is called the diameter. And if at any point I'm going too fast, pause the video please because you need this drawn on your paper. So the length of a circle is the diameter. Half the length of a circle is the radius. All right, and if you remember that word, that's because that's what we need for our formula, for our area formula. Now, the diameter and radius can be drawn any way. The diameter can be drawn all the way across very many different ways. Same with the radius. The radius can be drawn as half the circle very many different ways. All right, but the diameter is always the length of the entire circle. Radius is always the length of half the circle. All right, and then we always have the center of the circle and the diameter and radius. The diameter is always gonna pass through the center. The radius is always going to uh, start at the center. And then finally, we have something called the circumference. And that is the um, length of the outside of the circle. So the circumference measures the outside of a circle. You don't necessarily need that for now, but I would still like you to write that down because you're going to need it later on. So if you remember all of these parts, finding the area of a circle will be easy. All right. Another thing we need to note is that we're going to need this button. We're going to need the pi button. So I want you to look at your calculator and I want you to find the pi button. It is four down from the top or it's three down after the second button. All right, you're always going to need that pi button. All right, so area of a circle. Follow along. So first things first, we write the formula. So A equals pi r squared. So if you remember, r stands for the radius, and right here, radius is half the length of the circle. And right now, we just see half the length of the circle. So 9.8 is our radius. So we're just going to substitute that into our formula. So a equals pi radius is 9.8 squared. All right, so now we have to go back to order of operations. We need to square something before we multiply. So what we are squaring is just the 9.8. So we're gonna say 9.8 squared or 9.8 times 9.8. And you're gonna get 96.04. And I'm gonna rewrite this a little bit. I'm gonna put the number first, so 96.04. For pi. Alright, so we need the units, m squared, that should be easy by now, but we have 96.04 pi, and this is like the pretty version of our number. So this is the number in terms of pi, alright, um, it doesn't go on forever, it sometimes has a decimal, sometimes doesn't, but it looks nice, it's a nice number. Right, so every time we're finding the area of a circle, we have to find it two ways. We have to find it this way in terms of pi, and we have to find it as the actual number, the estimated number. So that means we have to multiply 96.04 times pi. So in my calculator, I'm going to put 96.04 times pi. So I'm going to get 
dot, dot, dot. So it's going to go on forever because pi itself goes on and on and on forever. However, we're going to round to two decimal places just like we did money. We're going to round to two decimal places or the hundredths place. So we need to look here. The third number tells us five or more raise the score. So I need to raise my one to a two. So my final rounded number is 301.72m squared. And again, you need both of these on your worksheet in order to master this subject. So in terms of pi, just means you have pi afterwards. You've um, squared your number and you write pi afterwards. And not in terms of pi or the actual number is when you multiply it out. All right, we're going to try another one. <clears throat> so if we look at this, again, area of circle, so A equals pi r squared. Now, we don't have the radius, right? What we have right here is the diameter, which means it is the entire length of the circle. So I'm going to give you another formula to write down. To find the radius, we take the diameter divided by 2. All right, which is pretty easy. Here, 18, we take 18 divided by 2, which equals 9. So the radius is going to be 9. So we're going to take A equals pi times 9 squared. Okay, and again, following order of operations, we're going to do 9 squared first. 9 squared is 81, so I'm going to write 81 and then I still have this pi, so I'm going to write pi after it. And here, pretty number, 81 pi. Um, no decimals this time. It looks very neat. We have to write the units, mi squared. All right, but then we also have to have our second version, which is not in terms of pi, which is a little uglier of a number, but it's um, giving you kind of an exact number that, we want once we multiply 81 times pi. So 81 pi times pi is going to give us 254, 254.469 dot dot dot. Again, we have to round the 6 up because 9 is 5 or more. So the 6 becomes a 7 and we keep the units miles squared. Alright, so again, you need both of these ways on your worksheet to master this subject. And when you're doing the worksheet, please just continue to go back and watch the video if you are still confused. Alright, we're going to do one more. So again, area of a circle, A equals, I want you to finish what the area of a circle is, write it down, pi r squared. All right, so again, we're given the entire length, so we're given the diameter. So to find the radius, we need to do the diameter, so 16.6 .6 divided by 2. And that's going to give us 8.3. So the radius this time is 8.3. So A equals pi times 8.3 squared. So we need to square 8.3. So you can either do 8.3 times 8.3, or you can find the squared button on your calculator. And we get A equals 68.89 pi and then the units km squared all right again no need to round here pretty number in terms of pi right so the last step is to write it out so now we need to multiply 80 uh, 68.89 times pi. And that gives us 
216.42. This time we don't need to round because the number after a 2 is a 4. And 4 or less, let it rest. So we just let it go. So 216.42 uh, km squared. And again, we have both of these written down on our paper in order to master the subject or the area of a circle. All right, uh, you are ready to finish the worksheet. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth, so two decimal places. Go back and rewatch as much as you need to. When you're done, check your answers. Mastery means all but one correct. Good luck. You can do it.